Hey everybody, alright, um, today I'm here with like a little holiday tutorial, I would say, on how to make it snow on your website. Okay, um, this is just like a little mini project that I'm working on, ignore it, um, but it's just a, so a demo, so you can see, it's kind of like the thing that they do on Google or on YouTube with the videos, or on um, lots of sites now are kind of getting in the holiday decorative mood, and uh, having snow on their page. Alright, so I'm going to show you um, a script that I, I did not write the script. It's um, one that I'm just hosting on my website. And uh, you can go to it and um, download, or not download, but link to it. And I'll show you how to customize it. Okay, um, now this is a site that actually made the script. Um, they also do this little thing right here, like how you can like um, pop it. That's not what I'm going to show you. Okay, so... Oh, sorry. Second. Hate when this happens. Alright, don't save. Okay. So, first, what you want to do is just right inside your head tags, you want to. Uh, okay. You want to add a script tag. Or actually, let me show you. JavaScript link. Alright, so you're going to add a script tag with a type of text slash JavaScript have a source. Um, you can't just close it like this. You actually have to um, do like a regular thing. Okay, now this is going to be... I'll give you the link to this. It's going to be snow.js and um, I am also want to have some style right here. And we'll close this style. And then type equals text slash CSS. Now I'm just gonna go body, go background dash color, and I'm just gonna put it red so that you can see it. Okay, so now while we wait for this to load and see, we have this cool little snowing thing. Alright, now I'm gonna show you how to customize it. Now I'm gonna give you this link, and if you scroll down to here, you can see um, that um, there's a bunch of different properties, you know, that you can um, customize. Okay, so basically, let's just do something where, um, let's say we want to change the snow color. You can just copy this in, and then right here, right after it, or it doesn't matter. Well, I think you have to actually put it before it. Script, just have opening and closing script tags. Ripped, okay, and then you can just paste that in, and let's make it. Um, I know a green. Okay. Now, if we reload this, maybe we have to put. It, I think we actually might have to put it be after it, because otherwise, yeah. Sorry. All right. All right. See now it's gonna becoming kind of green. Let's say we want uh, flakes, if we want it to follow the mouse. We can then just in here, paste that in, and we can say false. And now I'm going to reload this and I move my mouse back and forth. Nothing, nothing happens. Now we can uh, copy this one, which is one that I like to change. And we can go here. And you can change it to like 50, let's say. And now this is going to be slower. And if you have it, the, um, the lower the number, the faster it goes, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So, um, you can see. Now, one unfortunate thing um, is that with your style, how it goes, is how they make this. Um, if you couldn't see before, well, let me show you. When I hover over the snake, my cursor turns into a little, like, text thing, because those are little text characters. So what you can do is you can do cursor, um, cursor, and uh, default. Now, that shouldn't make it so it always be the same. Yeah, and now you can see it's going really fast, so it's hard to see, but you can do that. Now I want to change the melt. Where's the melt? I can go like here, and we can paste that in, and one more, there's a melt one, 
Um, melt effect. Okay. I don't want it to melt. And, um, there was one more on blur. Ooh, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Chew. And one more is snow stick. Um, use twinkle effect. This one's kind of a cool one. Okay, now when we reload our page, they kind of twinkle. And you know what? That's too fast. I'm going to make it slower for a sec so I can show you something. I'm pretty sure 50 is the max you can go for speed. Okay, and see, you can just do stuff like that. I personally like it kind of fast. And so, see, you can, um,. Uh, I actually don't want the twinkle because the twinkle effect it looks kind of weird, and um, by default it won't work on mobile. Just to let you know. So um, if you're trying to figure out how to do it on mobile, there is um, a property for mobile. Um, let me see if they have it here. Um, Uh, they don't have it, but um, I will put a link in um, some things in the description. I'm going to copy all this stuff and just give them in the description so you can copy and paste and you don't have to go to this website. Feel free to, though. This is kind of a cool thing how you can like play around with the light bulbs. All right. Um, that's it for today. Um, have some happy holidays. I probably won't be making another tutorial for a little bit, um, but when I do, I'm going to come back with some cool ones. And, um, by the way, I just released a series on how to make a really cool, complex, um, HTML5 and CSS3 website. So, uh, go check those out. And, uh, thanks a lot. Alright, see ya.